I would like to tar start today with an experiment. Close your eyes. I'm going to say a word. Keep the image that pops into your head in mind. The word is robot. Now, open your eyes. Keep that image in your mind. I want you to look at these images. Are they the same? I would imagine that many of you thought of a humanoid Hollywood rendering of a robot. Or maybe some of you engineers in the audience thought of some manufacturing robot that moves at lightning speeds and puts together a car and an assembly line. My goal today is to somewhat transform your intuition about how re robots can impact our world. Now, my name is Joseph Crane. A couple weeks ago, I spoke to you about a problem. That problem was senior citizens with chronic obstructive pulmonary disorders that require oxygen replacement. They need oxygen tanks to breathe, struggle to move around, and they lose their independence. Today, I'm going to pose to you that ReZero can solve this problem. Now, ReZero is a robot that's being researched and developed at ETH Zurich. Now for, for many reasons, this is a good, this is, ReZero is a good solution to the problem, but I'm going to start with the three main reasons why I believe this solution is perfect. One, ReZero moves dynamically. Two, ReZero has the ability to be designed in different ways and keep its performance high. Three, ReZero has multi-functionality, meaning that it can do different things in different modes. So first, let's talk about why ReZero is able to move dynamically. When you walk as a person, you take a step, now you're falling, and then you catch yourself with your other foot. And then you take another step and you're falling and you catch yourself. Your nervous system senses that it needs to put out its next foot and you do it without even thinking. Same thing if you're walking up steps or if you're running. ReZero does the same thing. 160 times per second, every second, ReZero takes a measurement of its pitch angle relative to the ground. ReZero then takes that information, sends it to its motors and tells its motors to adjust three wheels on the ball that it balances on. Then it stabilizes itself and it does this 160 times a second every second. Now according to the researchers in the Autonomous Systems Lab at ETH Zurich, its single contact point is what makes it move dynamically. You would think its instability would come from it's one contact point, but it's actually its instability that leads to its stability and its ability to accelerate at three meters a second squared. So now that we've talked about how ReZero moves, let's talk about how this can actually solve the problem. You might think adding an apparatus on top of ReZero is going to severely hamper the performance of the robot. Well, this is actually not true. According to Thomas Klammerman, one of the chief collaborators at the Autonomous Systems Lab and ETH Zurich, the higher the center of gravity on the robot, the more enhanced the performance of the robot will be. So, if we mount a light or an iPad or an oxygen tank, we actually improve the robot's performance. Now lastly, I want to talk about the, the robot's multifunctionality. This robot functions four different ways. To introduce you to this topic, I'm going to show a short clip. In the next round, we can get Frisier to follow a person. He's now keeping a constant distance to Thomas. This works with a laser sensor that's mounted on top of Frisier. With the same method, we can also get him to circulate person. We call this the orbiting mode.
Okay, so this is a convenient point for the video to stop. Here you can see Re0 is tilted, but it's not going to fall over. This is because Re0 will send a message to its motors to tell it to uh, compensate while spinning around the axis. But the multifunctionality is what's really important here. Re0 functions at four different modes. The first mode, not mentioned here, is a passive mode, where me and you could have a catch with ReZero. I could push it, it would slide along, stop when you stopped it, and you could send it back to me. The other mode is where ReZero tries to maintain its position. So if it was standing here and I gave it a shove, it would go maybe a few yards, stop, and return to exactly where it was before I pushed it. The third mode is a follow the leader mode. You tell it, hey, follow that object or that person, and it will keep a constant distance from that person. The last mode is an orbiting mode. This is when it will orbit an object or a person, like a planet, like the moon does the Earth. So as you can probably imagine, these are going to be really useful functions for a person who wants ReZero to be close, but maybe not too close, or maybe not too far away. These functions are what really make ReZero an ideal solution to the problem of having to carry around an oxygen tank because if you're sitting, you can set it to maintain its position and if it gets knocked, it'll move a little bit and come back. Or if you're walking down a hallway, you can set it to the follow me mode and we'll follow you at a constant distance, not too close, not too far away. If you need to round a corner, you can have it orbit you and make that turn nice and smoothly. So to summarize, I will talk about an equation. My equation that I've set up here is an oxygen tank plus ReZero makes for a happy senior citizen that is independent and mobile. Thank you.